Welcome back to another bus building video. This is Brewster. We obviously just finished painting it. JD is still here, but he just did some miscellaneous wiring, so I'll show you what he's been up to. So, I always hook up a charger so that you can charge the buses three ways. Solar, alternator, and then just an extension cord. So we have this port that we had here. It just takes a regular extension cord, and then, it comes in there and uh, let me adjust the light and go in there. Basically that extension cord goes to that lithium battery charger and sits on these terminals and charges the battery. So if you happen to be in a shop bay or in your mom's front yard or something and you don't have solar, you can just hook an extension cord up and it's going to trickle charge your house battery. All right. So that's what JD's been doing, and we're gonna do just a couple little things today. JD's leaving tomorrow, but one of the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount a light under here, which I started to like to do, just so you have a light in here if you ever need to work in here or do anything. So I'm gonna get working on that. So ladies and gentlemen, that's what happens when you don't mask properly. When I painted the interior, I, uh, I didn't quite mask very well. So you take a razor blade and then you just scrape it off. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a light underneath the bed. Look at that. So you ever need to get in there and get stuff out in the middle of the night, you can see what you're doing. Good morning. Uh, it's early. Everybody's still asleep, but we're uh, going to grab the Jeep, warm it up, and we're getting ready to load up because JD's flying out early this morning. So we're headed down to town. Oh, you can hear the roosters or whatever they are. <laughs> so that's what we're up to. We're getting ready to head to town, take JD to the airport. Hope he gets his shit together. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. We have the munchkin. Look how cute she is. Had to take her outside. We're gonna start working today, huh, Ember? You gonna help dad? Look how cute she is. My bad. I had to show her. Okay, welcome back to another build video. Plumbing is the mission today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the mount down the uh the fresh water tank in the back uh put down the water pump put down the accumulator tank and then route our pecs up through the cabinetry and put the shower excuse me head and stuff in that's the mission today i don't know how long it's going to take hopefully it's going to be quick that's what we're doing and we'll worry about great gray water and all that stuff later but we're just trying to get the fresh stuff in today it's only a four window bus it shouldn't be that bad but we all know how that goes so let's get into it
All right, y'all. I didn't film any of this stuff, so I'm just gonna talk you through it. And I got a live chat in a few minutes, so. Put the 40 gallon tank in, right? Hooked up the water inlet in the vent tube, boom. And then we started putting this in. So we got our pecs on off. And then we're going to our filter, water pump, accumulator tank, and then through the wall, I'll take you over there. All right, so we're coming through the wall, going to a T. That's going up to our faucet. And then the water is coming over here, coming through the wall, into the water here. And then from there, we got all these fittings. It's gonna come out here and go over to PEX here. And it's gonna go there and then back to the sink. And then this is gonna drop through the floor. Propane, electrical, blah, blah, blah. So, as far as I got today, it's time consuming. I feel like everything is. So hopefully we can finish getting everything kind of mounted and hooked up tomorrow and maybe test water tomorrow. So that's the plan, but we'll see. Uh, that's gonna be it for today. We're gonna start cleaning up, getting ready for the live chat. So I'll see you over there in a little bit. Welcome back to another day. Now, Jaylena and Levi are not here right now. They went down to town, grabbed some materials. We're back on the plumbing. We're hoping we can wrap the plumbing up today. At least get like all the connections made. And then I gotta do a little bit of wiring. But I would love to get the plumbing installed today and be able to test the water system. That would be our goal. We are getting started late. You know, my fault. But let's get into the work day. shirts back off that means it got hot let me show you this so you can see all the lines are coming through here everything's hooked up we got the drop down below got the hot water going over there hot water coming back over here um, so as far as the actual water lines all the fresh side is hooked up so I need to do a little bit of wiring so I need to wire the hot water heater to the remote and then I need to wire the water pump to a switch to power. So, gotta do some wiring. gonna be it for the work day got the countertop cut and mounted so I had to slot it out for the sink and for the inset stove I think I'm gonna call it for the day all the plumbing's hooked up I'm just kind of like 
fitting everything together and then I gotta wire the stove and so, so this is two days of plumbing tomorrow I'll make it three which is you know about what I thought it was gonna be oh yeah and I got the uh, water pump wired so I got the on off for the water I kind of like the white counter I've been wanting to try this for a while I kind of dig it so we're gonna hop off here and I'll see you guys in the morning good morning ladies and gentlemen we're back another day <laughs> our main goal today is to just get everything mounted that needs to get mounted today uh, fresh water system should pretty much be done um, I'd love to test the water today uh, I would love by the end of the day to basically have everything in here mounted that's gonna be in here um, and all that'll be left will be doing the, the drawers the doors and then the gray water system that's how I would love to leave today we'll see if we get there but I think the countertop looks great slept on it came back uh, I still like it a lot <laughs> this morning not sure if my hair is super jacked up I usually got a hat on because I don't comb my hair anymore old people problems uh, but yeah so we're gonna get we're gonna get going I think one of the first things we're gonna do is we're gonna put some wire on the back of this burner because it's gonna be easier to wire outside we'll drop the burner mount the burner and then we'll mount the sink mount the faucet finish hooking up the plumbing and just kind of keep going from there so let's get into it. Alright, so I was just underneath the sink trying to use the mounting clips to mount that sink and the problem is the countertop is too thin so it's it's not grabbing. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to put a little bit of glue on there underneath some Sikaflex which is an adhesive sealant around the rim and then let it set which means I'm not going to be able to be moving that around much which means I might not be able to hook water up. Uh, Why don't you just do that last? You know what? That's why you always have a woman in your life, folks. She hits you with a little bit of that truth serum. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a good idea. Alright y'all, I just got propane and we're getting ready to check the water. I'm going to be honest, I'm a little bit scared. If you guys have been watching this channel for a while, I'm going to link a video to the Vin Diesel build the first time I did the plumbing. It was an experience. So I'm hoping we don't have that experience today. 
I think that might be one of my favorite moments on your channel ever. <laughs> was that video? It should be like a highlights video. <laughs> <laughs> Propane lines are loaded. So let's check our burner. Yay! Moment of truth, y'all. I'm gonna put a little bit of water in the tank and we're gonna watch for leaks. We're gonna laugh at them together. So I'm gonna go in there, <laughs> make sure nothing at the tank's leaking, and then we're gonna put pressure on the line. We're gonna run the water a little bit, see what happens. So, all right, here we go. So let's go under the bed, make sure nothing's leaking. Do, 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 What's going on? He's unkinking it. All right, y'all. Water's coming in. I don't see any leaks. Which is a good thing. We're not going to put much water in. Just because we don't want to have a bunch of water in there to get rid of if we have to. Okay. We're gonna turn the hot water heater on. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Hopefully it don't. Hopefully it don't blow up. Oh, dude, this is gonna be like an hour. Let's go inside. Check the controller on the water heater. So far, everything's looking good. Boom! Controller's on. So controller's on. Now let's. Turn the water on in the back, see what happens. All right, you see that valve right there? Go ahead and turn that. All right, water's in the system. Let's go inside. Okay. So. You guys not like this stuff? I hate it. I love this. We have the water pump. Turn it on. Let's see. We got, uh-oh. <laughs> uh-oh. There's no water. Did I turn the water off by chance? Uh, we're not sure the pump is working, so we're gonna check that out. I just cut power at the pump and wired it straight to the Jackery. The pump is working, which means I did something wrong at the switch. So I'm gonna get in here and figure that out. Turn the water on. <laughs> Water pump. Look at that. Okay. So let's make sure. Oh, it's leaking right there. It's heating up. We just got a leak right there. One. We have two leaks. We have a leak here and we have a leak here. So that's not bad. So we're going to redo those joints. We're going to check in the back, but other than that, I think we're good. Water's heating up. No leaks. Yay. This is going to be the last attempt for the day. Let's see what happens. It's cold. I didn't turn the water heater on. Let's try that again. Cold. Hot. No leaks. Y'all. I was about to say we have success and then I just seen a leak. <laughs> From right here. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the fresh side of the plumbing is done. Hot water heater, everything works, no more leaks. We'll keep an eye on it. So what I ended up doing was, so the fittings were leaking here, and then I ended up putting uh, Teflon tape and thread sealant on there. And now all that stuff is good. And then over here, I ended up just changing the fitting because the fitting was just leaking like crazy. So plumbing's good. We'll keep an eye on it, but I'm hyped about it. I think that's going to be it for this work day. And uh, it was a mission. I feel like it's always a mission. So I'm going to start cleaning up and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to end this video right here. Um, I feel good about this spot because we got all the fresh side of the plumbing done and I don't remember what else we did in this video but that's the main thing so cool thing shower head boom just sits in this little thing and it's got an on off valve right here and right here and it just comes through the water heater right there and I guess I'll talk about that so I guess you'll see everybody putting water mixers and all kinds of crap on their buses I don't do that the reason I don't do that is because the water heaters need full pressure to to like work properly so when you're mixing it it's not a lot of people who've been living in their bus for a long time are going to tell you that they just set the temperature at the water heater remote and then just turn it on full blast so they get full pressure in the water heater so it's just a bunch of extra plumbing that I just don't think is necessary. So I just set the temperature of the water to the controller and then just turn it on or off on the shower. Less plumbing, all PEX. So propane water heaters in there. Uh, we got the sink put in here. Cool thing about this faucet, comes out like that. Small, so it fits under here. And we got the water pump switch here. I mean, we're making good progress. I like where the bus is at right now, so we're going to end this video right here, and then we'll keep it popping in another one. So, if this is the first time you've ever found this channel, if you like anything bus related, and you just like bus stuff, consider subscribing, because that's all we really do here. Uh, if you've been here every single week, and you've been on this channel for a long time, so much love and respect, that's going to be the end of this one. This is your boy Isaac signing out. This is the Brewster Build. And we're coming down to the finish line. So, I'll see you guys in another one. Peace.